Have you ever wondered why you hug other people? What does this display of affection mean exactly? Well, according to psychology, you hug others because you need to. You hug people to help alleviate distress, to feel less alone, to share your love and joy with others, and to let those around you know that they matter to you. Carol Miller once said, hugs are the truest form of giving and receiving. With that said, these are six of the most common types of hugs and what each of them mean. Number one, the side hug. A side hug expresses friendliness, warmth, and kindness. A side hug is when you put an arm around another person's shoulders rather than wrapping both arms around them in a full contact hug. Also called the buddy hug, the side hug is often shared between casual friends and acquaintances in greeting. It is meant to convey friendliness that is not yet bloomed into intimacy. This is an appropriate display of affection for when you aren't very close to someone or are still getting to know them. By keeping the other person at arm's length, you are subconsciously keeping them at an emotional distance. However, choosing a side hug doesn't mean you feel cold and insincere towards them, but that you're being shy, friendly, and polite. Number two, the flirty hug. What's a flirty hug, you ask? Well, it's when you have a full frontal body contact hug with both your arms around the other person. They might trace their hands up your back or down your arms. They may even start playing with your hair. Ooh la la. A flirty hug is meant to convey romantic attraction. It tells you that the other person likes you and has feelings for you, even if they can't verbally express it. This type of hug is affectionate, intimate, and sweet. It's a definite sign that the other person is attracted to you and wants to be more than just friends. Number three, the long hug. Did you know that most hugs are brief, lasting only between five and 10 seconds? A long hug that lasts at least 20 seconds triggers the release of oxytocin, the love hormone, in your brain. When you get a long hug from a friend, family member, or a loved one, it's more comforting, loving, and warm. Whether it's because you haven't seen them in a long while, or you're patching things up after a fight, or you just really miss them, a long hug conveys that you love them and wanna be there for them. Number four, the romantic hug. Similar to the flirty hug, the romantic hug also conveys feelings of attachment and romantic attraction, but is more so about love rather than desire or passion. While the flirty hug is shared between people you hope to pursue a relationship with, the romantic hug is often shared between couples who've been dating for a while and are more familiar and intimate with each other. A romantic hug is when both people pull each other close by the waist and look deep into each other's eyes with arms wrapped tight around each other and their foreheads are pressed together. This pose expresses intimacy, fondness, and familiarity. Number five, the bear hug. If you've ever had a best friend or a rowdy sibling, then you already know what a bear hug is. A bear hug is intended to be playful, lighthearted, and fun. When you're wrapped in a bear hug, it is a full frontal tight embrace that is enveloping and warm. This kind of hug means that you have someone in your life who loves being around you and feels like you're worth protecting. And number six, the reverse hug. The reverse hug or the spoon hug is when someone wraps their arms around you from behind. You can share this hug with your romantic partner or a very close friend or your siblings. When someone gives you a reverse hug, it makes you feel safe, protected, and cared for. The reverse hug is a gentle but sweet affirmation of someone's feelings for you. Have you ever been on the receiving end of one of these special hugs? How did it make you feel? What do you think it meant? Tell us about it in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below.